The gentleman from Nebraska is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to ask my colleagues to join me in support of H.R. 1970, the Kerry Orozco Act. This coming Saturday is the two-year anniversary of the death of the Omaha police officer, Kerry Orozco, who was killed while serving a warrant to a convicted felon and known gang member. May 20th, 2015 will forever be a somber day in the Omaha metro area. Every day all across the country, first responders put their lives on the line to protect citizens. When Orozco, Officer Orozco was killed, her husband Hector was going through the process to gain U.S. citizenship, and her death put a halt to it. He has an enormous responsibility as a single parent, and we owe it to Carrie to ensure that her family is provided the same protections they would have had if this unfortunate situation had not occurred. H.R. 1970 would give this, the many of our first responders peace of mind to know that even in death, their surviving loved ones can continue the immigration process. This legislation would amend the Immigration and Nationality Act to allow for the surviving family members of a fallen U.S. citizen, first responder, to be naturalized upon compliance of all requirements. Current law allows for surviving family members of the U.S. military killed in service of our nation to continue with their citizen citizenship application. H.R. 1970 will simply extend that privilege to first responders. We owe it to Officer Roscoe and other fallen first responders to honor their memory by passing H.R. 1970. I look forward to working with both Democrats and Republicans in Congress to give our first responders the peace of mind they deserve as they head out the door each day to serve our communities. Thank you. I yield back the balance of my time.